How to Perform CPR on a Cat in an Emergency We never know when a medical emergency might strike, and it's crucial to be prepared for any situation a euro even when it involves our beloved pets. Cats, being curious and adventurous creatures, can sometimes find themselves in dangerous situations that require immediate medical attention. Cardiopulmonary resuscitation CPR, is a life-saving technique that can be administered to cats in emergencies, potentially saving their lives until professional help is available. CPR is a combination of chest compressions and rescue breaths, aimed at providing oxygen to the brain and vital organs when the cat's heart has stopped beating. However, it is important to note that CPR should only be performed when a cat is unresponsive and not breathing. If your cat is simply unconscious but is still breathing, it is best to seek veterinary assistance immediately. Here is a step-by-step -step guide on how to perform CPR on a cat in an emergency. Step 1. Assess the situation. The first thing to do is to assess the situation and ensure your safety as an animal in distress can become frightened and act unpredictably. Remove any potential hazards or objects that may cause harm to you or the cat. Step 2. Check for responsiveness. Approach the cat calmly and gently shake or tap its body, softly calling its name. If the cat does not respond, check its breathing by placing your hand near its nostrils or observing for chest movement. If there is no breathing or response, you can conclude that the cat needs immediate medical attention. Step 3. Clear the airway. Carefully open the cat's mouth and check for any obstructions, such as foreign objects or excessive saliva. If an obstruction is present, gently remove it using your fingers or tweezers. Be cautious not to push the object further into the airway. Step 4. Perform chest compressions. Lay the cat on a firm surface, preferably on its right side. Place one hand on the cat's ribcage near the heart and apply gentle pressure. The depth of the compression should be around one-third to one-half of the chest width. Perform 100 to 120 compressions per minute, pushing down and releasing rhythmically. Step 5. Administer rescue breaths. After 30 chest compressions, it's time to provide rescue breaths to the cat. Extend the cat's neck and close its mouth by holding the jaw closed. Seal your mouth over the cat's nose and exhale gently, allowing the chest to rise. Deliver two rescue breaths. Step 6. Alternate between compressions and breaths. Continue alternating between chest compressions and rescue breaths at a ratio of 30 compressions to two breaths. Be sure to maintain a steady rhythm and exert enough force during compressions to adequately circulate blood to the cat's vital organs. Step 7. Monitor for recovery signs. Monitor the cat's response to CPR. Look for signs of recovery such as improved color in the gums and tongue, a return of natural breathing, or responsive movement. If the cat shows any signs of improvement or begins breathing, cease CPR and seek veterinary assistance immediately. Performing CPR on a cat is a delicate process that requires both knowledge and composure. It is highly recommended to attend a pet first aid and CPR training course to familiarize yourself with the correct techniques and gain hands-on practice. Remember, CPR is an emergency measure that should only be performed by those trained in proper pet CPR techniques. Always seek veterinary attention as soon as possible after performing CPR to ensure a thorough evaluation and necessary follow-up care. By being prepared and knowing how to perform CPR on a cat in an emergency, you may just save your feline friend's life.